Hello, and welcome to Mitsubishi Electric Webinars. My name is John Herity, and I work within the marketing group here at MEAU. The following Application Solutions webinar will cover high-speed feeder single-axis applications in the material handling industry, where we will take a look at how Mitsubishi Electric's factory automation products can be used to create a solid solution. As part of a total factory automation solution, Mitsubishi Electric products provide exceptional control of multiple components. In this particular application solution, we will focus on standalone servo and motion control as it pertains to a single axis motion controller. Regardless of the machine being controlled, however, it is always Mitsubishi Electric's final goal to increase profitability in the material handling industry through improving overall machine performance, reducing design costs, and through minimizing the total cost of ownership. Let's take a look at a single axis feeder machine along with its control components. Essentially, you have a servo driven feeder system that reacts to mark sensors or photoelectric eyes. Mark sensor 1 is shown here before the feeder, and mark sensor 2 is positioned so that it is just toward the end of the feeder. A conveyor belt is controlled separately with a master encoder connected to track its movement. The master encoder is shown to the far left of the conveyor. For every amount of distance the conveyor moves, the external incremental encoder provides feedback to the motion controller to drive the slave servo. The slave servo, shown here, is connected to the feeder to drive the cardstock material toward the conveyor. The purpose of this type of machine is to feed pieces of material so they can be correctly placed on top of another material. The base material in this case is some yellow cards passing beneath the feeder with no particular spacing between them. As the yellow cards approach the end of the feeder belt, the servo accurately moves the pink cards so that they can be placed on top of the yellow cards. The conveyor then moves the finished stack of material to the right. Another component exists at the end of the machine to handle the material for inserting, stamping, additional collating, etc. This isn't illustrated here, but for more information on a complete feeder system, please refer to the Mitsubishi Electric Multi-Axis Feeder Application Solution. Typical application examples include card feeding, product label placement, mail sorting, collating, etc. Mitsubishi Electric's servo and motion control hardware are used to control this single-axis feeder machine. The MRMQ100 1.5-axis motion controller provides one axis of servo control with a half-axis representing input from an encoder. An optional MRJ3D01 module can be connected to the MRJ3B servo amplifier for I.O. control. And as shown with the dotted line in the product configuration to the bottom left, a smaller GT10 series HMI is provided for control from an operator. This system utilizes Mitsubishi's SSCNet3 servo system controller network with 50 megabaud speed in one direction and a servo system update rate of 0.44 milliseconds. The solution provided for this application comes with a number of unique advantages and benefits to the end user. First, the programming environment with MT Developer 2 is easy to use, significantly reducing the amount of time needed to get the machine up and running. Based on past experience against the competition, this has resulted in up to 50% reduced programming time. The mechanical editor also eliminates the need for mechanical clutches, cams, line shafts, and other components, ultimately reducing the final cost of the machine. A high-speed registration function is included as standard with the MRMQ100 single-axis motion controller. This reduces waste material from inaccurate feeding and helps to increase the machine's productivity. Another highlight is Mitsubishi's SSCNet3 high-performance servo system network. When compared with a traditional system, up to 20% can be saved in installation costs with easy-to-connect fiber optic cables. Machine throughput is increased with a 0.44 millisecond servo refresh rate and the fiber optic cables also prevent interference from external noise. In this application, the MRMQ100 single axis motion controller provides unprecedented control at a very low price. Options for servo safety and analog I.O. combined with affordable HMI and digital I.O. connectivity provide the best in class solution the industry has to offer. Not only does the MRMQ100 provide the highest CPU processing speed, far outperforming the competition, it also allows for up to 256 tasks to run simultaneously. 
These technological perfections combined with a robust motor lineup result in increased machine efficiency you can visually recognize. The MRMQ100 also provides servo safety control with connection to a safety amplifier for safe torque off and safe stop one support. An optional card can be connected to the right side of the amplifier for additional digital and analog I.O. The MRMQ100 can also be connected to an HMI via Ethernet or RS422. An Ethernet connection supports the GT15 and GT16 series HMIs. The RS422 serial connection supports GT10 series small HMIs. Finally, with the connection of a gateway device, the MRMQ100 can communicate via Ethernet IP for implicit or explicit messaging to a control logic system. The following timing chart outlines the single axis feeder's speed operation with respect to time. The machine is set up so that the servo follows the encoder one-to-one -one through an electronic gear ratio. This allows the cards to be accelerated to the speed of the conveyor automatically. When sensor one turns on, the servo waits for a while before accelerating to match the encoder's speed. Sensor two provides a signal that tells the servo when to stop moving. This sequence of events will be explained in more detail shortly. When looking at the program for this particular application solution, the following mechanical drawing is especially important to understand. The drive module at the top left is configured as a synchronous encoder. When the encoder moves, motion is transferred through the spindle gear at the top, through the transmission module, or electronic clutch, into a differential gear, and then finally out to the output module, which is represented as a cam module in this drawing. This is the actual servo motor connected to the feeder. So, when the clutch is closed, the servo follows the encoder automatically. Down to the bottom left is an auxiliary clutch and auxiliary servo motor for speed adjustments and for testing without an encoder. To put this into perspective, let's start with the encoder. This represents the drive module in the mechanical drawing. So whenever the conveyor moves, the encoder provides movement to the servo when the clutch is closed. Next, the servo motor that controls the feeder is represented as the output module or cam module in the mechanical drawing. These are linked as shown. As mentioned in the timing chart previously, the photoelectric sensors in this application provide start-stop control to the servo. The first sensor detects the yellow cards as they pass by on the conveyor, providing a signal to tell the servo when to begin feeding a pink card. This results in the clutch closing. A second mark sensor is used to detect the next pink card in order to stop the servo in preparation for the next feed. This provides a very precise stopping point through opening the clutch at a specific position based on encoder counts. And finally, the auxiliary components on the bottom left provide speed adjustments if necessary.